I just want to go back to being ham. I mean, I'm like, mm -hmm. I didn't even remember that. Say that my own go better. My own go finish here. Make sure that you are at the top of your game. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Everything Slim with Osas. I'm your host, Osas. Make sure if you've not subscribed, ensure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, share, like, comment. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. Okay, in today's video, it's more like a continuation of my previous video where I told you guys about how I left being ham to mini learning. In today's video, I'll just be just saying guys a little about my waiting period, how I was able to wait. Waiting was not easy. Waiting is not going to be easy. In today's video, I'm just going to be sharing with you my experience and giving you guys a few tips on how you can wait because it's not easy. Waiting period is something that will always come in your life. You're waiting for a job, you're waiting for an admission, you're waiting to graduate, you're waiting for a baby, you're waiting for marriage. You definitely have to wait at some point of your life. The most important thing at the end of this waiting period is what you have learned, basically. is what happens when you come out, when you're done waiting let me just say that just be just saying guys my holiday i already resumed school in uni learning i was on break because there was also strike then covid happened so everybody was at home basically and people were doing online classes basically but us were on strike so we couldn't do online classes um i don't know why to start this story for me guys okay during the covid week i don't even know what happened one day we we're coming back from church and i'm like daddy siba I just want to go back to being ham. Normally, what happens is that if, if you miss two semester examinations, you're automatically out of the school without anything. So I had mixed one, the one I, I wrote one paper out of that one. I was like, Daddy, see, I just missed one examination here. Yeah. I'm sure they can just do something. And I'll just have to go and write the exam and all of that. Daddy, please, I want to go back to being ham. My dad looked at me and was like, Why are you talking like this? How will you say you want to go back to being ham? But my daddy still just strike. It was like that. This my story, just like the Egyptian story. You can read about it. When God had already taken them out of Egypt and was supposed to take them to the promised land to Israel, they were complaining because of little hardship. It's not like God was not even showing up for them. So it's not like they were had little hardship per se. Because God was still providing food for them. He was still providing water for them. Like things they needed basically. God was providing it for them. Okay, they were discomforted definitely. And I'm very sure that the discomfort that they had was not up to, to half of what they were suffering in Egypt. So after God had taken them out of egypt they were now complaining that want to go back to israel that's what my dad was asking my dad was like this situation i am saying it like as if i'm just i'm just israelite that were like they want to go back to egypt and they were like mm -hmm. i'm just like okay that kind of thing so there's this mommy in church that was always asking me oh so how far now what is also saying like every time she she asks me i know she has a good motive but like i always cry and i'm always like god me to i'm tired what's all this i would have just have stayed in my baby i'm judging one day when i was studying the bible i saw a verse of it and do you know what since after that day i've tried my best to check for that scripture i can't find it when i was reading my bible i saw like it was not even, even like the whole story about the whole Egyptian people. It's just like all the scriptures that they just make, make reference to some things in the Bible. And I saw that because, because the Egyptian grumbled, they did not enter the promised land. I was like, oh my God. I had to pray. I had to beg God for forgiveness. Why are in a waiting period? is to a means to an end. So imagine during that waiting period, let's say you are waiting for a job. You are just complaining, grumbling, waking up in every day. And you are angry. That verse said, because of the grumbling of the Israelites, they didn't enter the promised land. Meaning, all those waiting periods, you just wasted your waiting period. That's what it means, basically. I was like, oh my God, I cannot afford to wait in period. So I had to beg of forgiveness. I had to make conscious effort not to be sad about it. I just had to work on myself. Because I cannot imagine after all this whole ass strike and everything, I me mean, I'll be grumbling here. Yeah, and God is taking me to an aiming sign. Then my, because of my grumbling, all my waiting period will be over. So I'll just be sharing you guys some tips that helped me. And in between, I'll just be telling you guys what happened. But trust me, waiting period is not the easiest ever. Waiting period is hard because every day you keep on wondering, does this Number one thing I'll tell you to do is to read your Bible. 
be reading your bible make sure you be prepared for you to grow spiritually why are you waiting for a job why are you waiting for admission you have so much time on your hands so i'll say that you should read your bible study your bible when you read your bible you know god's promises over those waiting period you know how to hold up it just helps and strengthen you to hold up like now i told you guys that even though my dad had already told me when i saw it in the scripture by myself because of the grumbling of the israelites they did not enter the promised land so that kind of thing made me hold up when you read the scripture there's a way things just hit up so you're like it is me this scripture is talking about there's a way it makes you endure reading scripture news about god's promises scriptures like as many that wait upon the lord he shall renew their strength you can even use it to pray god please i'm waiting help me strengthen me give me grace for i know the thoughts that i have towards the thoughts of good and not of evil okay this waiting period there's something good that will definitely come out of it never leave me nor forsake me heaven and earth to pass away but my world will remain the same it makes you know that as long as god has said it it will come to pass so like even in while reading your bible it can give clarity like me i need that okay yes i had the assurance i need the confirmation that me coming to inner was not my own doing i think i pushed god in giving me uni learning but my mom made me understand that i didn't that there was a purpose and there was a plan for it it's not just my dream at so all. next thing i'll tell you is to pray pray a lot pray sometimes when you pray you feel like prayer reduces worries prayer re renews your strength and makes you know the mind of god towards that situation pray when you pray god will give you what don't worry you get a bigger job it gives you hope you know that yes this thing will come to an end like i told god when i was in ss god god please i didn't want to to owe anybody for admission i told god when i saw my jam results eventually my wife was far far better than my jam so i was so angry that bt cbt is not for me this kind of thing and when when my jam came out like god please i don't also have to write all these computer things and funny enough when i came to abuja there was no post -tame. so the next day after i applied for uni abuja i started doing post and all of that when i went to Bingham, i was already interviewed in Bingham. i went to uni learning I didn't even do post me. It says transfer student, I didn't do post me. You see, it came out. I didn't even remember that I made that kind of prayer. All these CBT things, they are not for me. So, God was just so faithful. I didn't have to write anything like that. Something like that. Prayer, you send prayers to your future. When you pray, even things that you don't remember, they come to pass. Things that you don't even remember. Me, I didn't even remember any of this prayer points. Yes, I prayed this thing. And you know something, but one of the prayer points I made was that God, I wanted to go far away. And when I now had to fill my jam for my dad, was like, no, me in Abuja or Bingham. So those schools, they are like in Abuja and that kind of thing. Little did we know that God was going to still take me far away to where I wanted to go to. I didn't really have people to tell me about schools and all these kind of things. So I was like, okay, i'm from bini let me just go to uni bang, that kind of thing so from abuja not to inerin if you are going by road like eight hours next is be optimistic i want you to speak positively tell yourself for i know the plans god have me. he's not sleeping god is aware of what is happening to me god is my strength like just keep on speaking positively in that your waiting period you need to be your biggest hype man keep on speaking positively say that my own go better my own will go finish here i have somewhere i'm going i have a bright future say so many positive words to yourself be optimistic have faith that yes this will come to an end that this is not the end of life I have a future and god has so much more for me yeah say what you want know that i used to hear all these affirmative words that mother do speak to their children they pray for their children all these affirmative words so you pray for your children how do you want them to be while they're in the womb all those kind of things so like it's just like he period of waiting and eh? be vulnerable to jesus make yourself vulnerable to god tell god that god it is only you that can bring me out of this situation make yourself you have to empty you before god and tell god that god you are the only one that can help me in this situation oh god god you just have why to help me make sure you are doing some research have wide knowledge at that waiting period i will say you're almost basically less busy research learn a skill get a job while you're waiting for a dad mission make sure that you at the end of the day when they ask you what did you do during this period you can show something very tangible don't surround yourself by people that will pull you down if you have a business idea that if you tell this person this person is going to discourage you from it don't do it like in my own story god was so faithful me my dad encouraged me and told me that this is easy and it was able to encourage me he helped me but if you tell somebody that i'm waiting on god's word i'm i'm doing a work of faith let's say if you are doing a work of faith and you started buying books on this course and somebody 
saying, are you mad? Why are you wasting your money? That kind of thing. Surround yourself with people that will pull, that will pull you up. Surround people that will encourage you. Be flexible and be willing to adapt. Give yourself the opportunity to think about it. And don't let it weigh you down, guys. Don't be encouraged. Encourage yourself by yourself. Be your biggest hype. No negative guys. vibe. Be happy with us. Mean they are happy. But the fact that you don't have it doesn't mean that you never get it. Actually, be happy for others. Walk of faith. Buy your clothes. Buy your books. Buy whatever you know that you need when you're waiting for your is over. Read your Bible, read Christian books, read books on finance, read books on jobs. Listen to a lot of music that lifts up your spirit. Make sure that you are at the top of your game. I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but the most important thing about your break, uh, what can you show for it? Because most time, eventually, you need what you are waiting for it is the hardest thing. It has given me efficiency, it has given me speed. You are capable. This waiting period is not going to last. People, let me give you that quote. Situations do not last, but tough people last. You can't do this. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Give it a thumbs up. Like, share, comment my video. And by the way, this is a good way to start the month. Happy new month. This month is my birthday. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys as always bye let's see how this goes